what is a reference model? The OSI reference model, open standard interconnect. So you can see open standard internet connect, what is the model? So you can see layer one, physical layer, then there's a bits, trans uh, binary transmission. Uh, layer two, data link layer, frames, physical, then the, there is a layer three, network layer, packet, we call a packet. It's normally, we have the detail example. So this is PDU, this is the name, this is the number. So now you can see there is an open standard actually. And why, why there is open standard, I, I will come back, but let's just start from layer one. What is the name, number, layer one, how we name it physical, we call this as a bit as well. And these are the different standards that we detail an example as well. When the message comes at the two, we call data link layer. And we also, if this is called PDU, we know it means frame. If we say frame, it means that there we are talking about layer two. If we call a packet, it means we are talking about the layer three. Mostly IP phone, IP uh, networks and IP communication happen through uh, layer three, uh, actually. Layer four is a transport layer segment. We call a segment. And it's mean end to end connection. What it does actually, this is the path determination. This is the physical addressing. Layer five is called a session, which develops the session between the source and the destination. And it's the inter host communication. Layer six is a presentation layer, data, data presentation encryption. Layer seven, application, data, or network host to host communication. This is where the user is interacting. Basically, in order to understand the networking term, network working ter terminology, uh, whatever the discussion so far we had, uh, this is the, this is the, the in, in any, in any way, if you want to develop any network device, any network communication device or a host or anything like that, you need to follow these guidelines. Layer seven to layer one. These are the layer. This is the open standard. If somebody need to develop a router, he need to find the, he need to follow the guidelines provided by the layer three. And also in order to understand the complex networking term, we have divided them into seven sections. Clear? We have to develop, develop seven sections. I can give you an example, for example. If you, if you want to send, if you want to go to, to see your friend, for example, okay, in order to, to go his house, what you will be doing, for example. So there is a, let's say, might be there is an important message you want to go and talk to him uh, physically, okay, into the, so first of all, you need to have a message, okay, that's a message, maybe in a letter, or maybe from, you can deliver from your mouth as well, or your, uh, maybe other way, so that message has to be there, then the message can be in a presentation format, and then before you leave your house to go his own house, you want to make sure that he should be there on time, he should be in, he should be present, that's the job of the session layer. The session layer makes sure that, you know, the other party is there, okay, before you leave. Then, of course, if you want to send the message from your side to another side, and you want to go there, of course, that message needs to be end-to-end, -end segmented, if it's segmented, it may be, if it's a big message or small kind of message, if it's a big message, if the network layer, you can pieces as well. Then, of course, you need a direction. You see, path determination. So this morning when you left for the office, actually, of course, you maybe use a navigation, you, you may use uh, another media medium to reach it here. Okay, so it shows you the direction. Physical media, that's the physical presence of the device or his house, actually. So when you use a navigation, navigation just direct you right, left, straight, follow this, follow that. And ultimately, you reach to the his house his street actually, okay? And the physical layer, of course, that roads are there, that's called. Basically, from the day-to-day -day example, I'm trying to explain you how the message is delivered. So from the top layer, where the users are interacting, the presentation layer, making sure that the data or messages are readable from the both sender and receiver format. Application, the session layer, what it does actually, it makes sure the two hosts are communicating, uh, they are, are there. Uh, and if the message and once the message is delivered, they can terminate the session as well. Transport, which makes sure the end-to-end -end connections are there. 
and network layer which show you the path data addition layer shows you the physical uh, address so these two logical address these are physical address logical mean the direction and physical address where the person or sender or receivers are existing okay so basically layer 7 please keep in mind these layers application presentation session transport data link layer in the ccna these seven layers are very important so maybe there is a question can you reorder them into the correct format so from top to bottom and bottom to top please make sure you understand that